Hey, this is Jess Boschman from Just Be Fit, and today I want to talk about why you should hike with poles. Um, hiking poles are a great way to add some stability to your gait while you're hiking on unstable terrain. They're a great way to save putting all of your energy into your knees on especially downhills, but on uphills and flats too. Um, hiking poles are great for getting extra stability in snow or in stream crossings and they can help to support an injured limb if you have a foot, a knee, or a hip injury. When you're hiking with poles, you're using your whole body to walk, not just your limbs. So let's take a look at how to get started. First thing you want to do is find the right height for your pole. And to do that, I like to open up the bottom a little bit, open up the top all the way, and then bring my elbow to about 90 degrees, and then I'm going to lock my pole down to that height. Do the same with my other pole. They also have little lines and numbers on them. If you're a numbers person, you'll memorize your number, but I like to figure it out in the field. It's very quick and easy, and now I know I've got my pole to a pretty optimal length. So the second thing I'm going to do is get my hands through the straps. So taking my hands and reaching up through, and then if you pull your hand down, you'll have your thumb on one side of the strap and your fingers on the other side. And that will allow you to grip the pole loosely, you don't have to death grip it, and the straps will keep the poles around your hands. If you don't like the feeling of the straps on your hands, which I didn't for many years, you can certainly still hike without putting your hands through the loops. But they do add a little efficiency to your stride when you use the straps. So the basic step when you're using a hiking pole is to take your opposite foot and your opposite hand and move them together. Um, I also like to angle my poles back slightly so that I can really push with my arm and then I can reach forward with my other arm as I step forward. So I'm going to take a little walk and show you how it's done. When you're hiking uphill, you want to think about a couple of things. First, you want to make sure that your poles are at the right height. So when I'm facing uphill, my elbows are roughly at a 90 degree angle, which means if I had my poles set for walking on flat, I might need to adjust the angle on my poles a little bit shorter in order to get that angle right. If you just have a short stretch of hill and you don't want to adjust your poles, and keep it at the higher level and then just grip the pole below the handle and hike normally with that lower grip so your elbow is at about 90 degrees. So I'm going to adjust these back to where I had them and when I'm walking uphill just like when I'm walking on flat I want my opposite foot and opposite hand to be reaching forward at the same time. I like to lead with my pole rock my weight forward onto the front foot and then plant my next pole before stepping forward. The shorter the steps you take, the more efficient you're going to be traveling uphill. And remember, you're going to run out of breath a lot quicker going uphill than walking on the flat. So reduce your speed, take your time, and find a steady pace that you can maintain so you're not stopping for breaks every five minutes and slowing down your travel. Take it easy. Stop. Smell the roses.
All right, it's time to talk about downhill travel. When you're going downhill, you want your poles to be a bit longer than they were when you're going uphill, so you can still find that roughly 90 degree angle in your elbow. Um, I find when I'm going downhill that I tend to reach forward quite a bit, so it's helpful to have long poles for that, those forward reaches, especially when the slopes get really steep. Uh, same strategy for placing your opposite arm and your opposite foot forward so you stay balanced at all times. And often when I'm going downhill, I like to plant both whole poles and then step through um, to make traveling a little bit easier. Using poles on the downhill is a great way to save your knees. You're not slamming your feet into the ground the whole way down. You can offload some of your energy onto your upper body and absorb some of that impact. If you don't really need the poles for a whole lot and you want to move more quickly, then you can get that opposite foot and opposite pole plant at the same time. You can move your arms a little bit more casually when you take your step. So this is how I would walk on a comfortable trail without a lot of weight in my pack um, without paying too much attention to my feet. 